Okay, Coop, good to see you here. Are we still experimental stages or uh, are we in for sure? Uh, yeah, here for press. Um, first time riding for the week, so we're going to see how it feels. But uh, so far, so good. I made a lot of progress this week. Um, you know, lucky to not have some serious injuries after the big crash, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's part of racing. Stuff happens sometimes. So, yeah, here to see how it feels, get a feel for the track, and uh, I mean, I'll be out there tomorrow for sure. What all were you working on this week to to try and get good? Ah, uh, really, just uh, a lot of uncomfortable stuff with uh, PT and ice, and just mainly trying to reduce the swelling. Um, some draining, everything like that. So uh, it wasn't the funnest week, but I felt like I did everything I could to, to be the best I could be for race day. So, you know, we'll see how it all how it goes. And um, But, yeah, just lucky to be, be able to be here and be racing. I'm stoked on that. We're pumped to see you here. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, Kenny, I think you did a little track walk preview here. What do you think so far? Yeah, so this is probably one of uh, the shortest whoop section that we've had all year in my eyes. Uh, the dirt's super soft. Um, walk pretty much the whole track we got another deep sand section back there see how that will play out it kind of goes around the turn and it goes not necessarily into the face of the triple but it does go around a little bit of the turn um, so it seems like uh, things are built up pretty nicely kind of like similar to st louis but very very soft dirt ready to go back to one main event yeah 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 i think everybody is you know it's just one of those things we all have to do them so i just try to have a super positive uh, outlook on them and uh, that's what, what gets me through them pretty decently. We're all flying a lot these days. So for coronavirus, are you a mask or no mask guy? Well, here's the thing, what I heard, I have some masks at home, but I actually heard that it is better for the people that actually have any kind of virus or any kind of illness, I should say, it's better for them to wear it so it doesn't come out instead of us wearing it that don't have it. But I think it can't hurt. So I kind of go back and forth with it, with it but I try to just wash my hands a lot, use a lot of hand sanitizer. I wipe my seats down the whole nine. Yeah, watching on the planes these days, it seems like more and more we're, we're seeing them on there. Well, yeah, it's no joke, and especially for us that fly on a weekly basis. Yeah, um, it's real, and we got to try and stay away from it. Not even just from the coronavirus type thing, but in general, illness is something that can hurt you big time on the weekend, and you can't perform your best, so I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible. Man, last weekend it looked like you were getting beat on in every direction possible. I got beat up bad last week. I, I told some people this week, like, I've never had one like that in my whole career, and I've been out here quite a few years. Um, so, yeah, just thankful to be here in Atlanta. I did get to ride one day this week just to, well, one reason the, the fly guys were in town, so we had to do a photo shoot. Um, so that kind of got me off the couch and got me to the track, and then I actually felt better than I thought I was going to, so I ended up doing a few laps. And... Um, yeah, super rough weekend. Such a bummer too because that track was was nice. Had big whoops and triple crown format, and all of it was was really kind of in my favor. And about half a lap into the very first practice of the day, me and Chad just we basically hit head on after the whoops and uh, hurt my hand pretty bad. And then it just snowballed from there. I mean, I couldn't gather myself back up. It was like every time I was on the track, I was on the ground. Well, when you cause a red flag and out there, you know it's a big one. Yeah, uh, I caught my foot off the finish line. And at that point, I was actually feeling pretty good. I'd recovered from the couple crashes I had. And then uh, that last practice, I was feeling good and was going for a fast lap and just caught my foot off the top of the finish line jump and full Superman off the side of the bike and knocked the wind out of me bad. And, and um, I don't care who you are, getting the wind knocked out of you does not get easier. <laughs> it just kind of so, ruins your day. Yeah. It does, yeah. And uh, so got my breath back. I was super beat up, sore, my ribs and hand and foot, my, uh, uh, my big toe, my right foot, I mean, no no uh, toenail and I think of you know whether it's broken or not I'm not sure but it's it's definitely really sore so yeah I was I was beat up and battered but still able to get out there and race that first main and, and uh, ran fifth for a long time until a couple laps to go and crashed in the whoops and um, then had another crash in the second main which I'd had enough at that point I was sick of hitting the ground finished you off yeah that one finished me off well Chad we got the whole tribe of reeds out here this weekend yeah all well, three of them uh pretty exciting you know like this weekend i'm going to come out opening ceremonies and uh you know individually i've had you know one of them on the motorcycle with me but never you know never rode out with all three riding um so it should be fun you know it's an afternoon opening ceremonies 4 30 ish so that you know like there'll be still light out so i, I don't dad doesn't need to be so worried about it being dark and them running into something that they can't Spotlighted see Spotlighted out e there exactly yeah. and then you know like it's 
even at 37 and been doing this for 22 years, um, you know, when they put the spotlight in your face, it's pretty daunting. You can't see anything. So, yeah, it'll be a um, it'd be a fun experience. Those guys, they're really supposed to be sitting there and not riding now, but I can hear them riding around. So, they just love it. it looks like the ribs are coming around. Ribs are starting to feel a little better, and um, and just been trying to work hard. You know, like uh, unfortunately the rain hasn't been playing nice in in Charlotte. Um, so you know, like in a perfect world, you want to take what you learned last week or just a little bit of the momentum. You know, and for me, I'm probably one of the better guys to take the littlest bit of momentum and and grow it into something. Um, and I would have loved to have rode my dirt bike this week, but it wasn't possible. So we're here on press day and. Um, but yeah, like I feel, I feel like I'm starting to get over the hump, so that's good. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a little more momentum the last week or two. Yeah, just like more just the last this last past weekend, you know, like it was a triple crown. The way I've been riding, and it wasn't gonna be acceptable, you know. You gotta be in the top 18 just to make it, you know, directly into the triple crown. And uh, I didn't want to do like for me, I just like last chances are so lame like for me you know like I, I should never be in those things but the, the reality is is you just haven't been riding well enough and haven't been fit enough um so yeah last weekend i think i was like 14th in the last one and 15th overall because of ac um and that was you know three tenths would have put me into eighth um at no point this season have i been you know within that window so um a real real positive day um, the night shows the night show you know you they drop the gates and there's no hiding um, I was reasonably uh, decent in both the first two ones and then the last one I was I was a joke I was just so toast going out to the race I was already cramping and all those kinds of things so um, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't ride this week to actually you know recover well you talked about the three tenths between you know a large group of guys you know, every year we come into the season and say, oh, this is, you know, it's a deep field and all that. But I think the depth is still there and guys have stayed relatively healthy, except for maybe a couple guys getting hurt last weekend. I, I mean, I think the biggest indication is look at the Lions class, both East and West. I mean, it's, uh, hey, they're all in our class now. Um, you know, like it's like we always look and at least for me, I always get excited because I get to watch those races. Um, you know, the, the talent and, and how deep those fields have been. And, you know, they're just a little a little weaker, you know, like they're a little top heavy this uh, this year. And and the reason is, is they're all in hours. So, um, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, like your one lap pace is important for gate pick and um, and on a triple crown, like I kind of said, like, you, you know, like you have to uh, we just do practice and then we go straight into the main event. So um, I didn't want to have to do an afternoon. What, what I kind of relate to as an afternoon qualifier. <laughs> well, good luck out there this week. Thanks, man. Well, Pierce, it's a little bit late or a couple weeks into the season, but yeah. it's good to see you back in the yeah, we're action. Two weeks late, two weeks late, but we're here. So I'm just stoked to be here, man. Um, my first Supercross, so I don't know what to expect, but we'll just see how it goes. Well, you, you've been watching and hanging out, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been watching every weekend and uh, watch the West Coast guys too. And I ride with uh, Brandon and Derek like weekly. So um, I know I know my speed's there. I just need to get my feet wet in the races. And uh, um, yeah, that's about it. And get a broken scapula that kind of set you back for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I broke my scapula in early, early January, so I was out for all of January and started started riding, like, first week of February, but, like, first round was two weeks after I started back riding, so I was like, that's kind of risky. I mean, the team and I, like, we all agreed to, like, wait until, until I was 100%, so it's this weekend, and um, I'm just soaked. We saw lots of speed from you at the straight rhythm, so uh, we know it's there. Yeah, yeah. The speed's there. Um, I've just been uh, just been putting in the laps weekly and uh, doing everything I can to be ready. And um, yeah, it was nice to get out to like straight rhythm, kind of mix mixed up with some of the top guys there. So um, we're just trying to take it take it as what it is, like do the same thing this weekend and uh, try to turn some heads, but um, just have fun with it. It's funny, one of the funnier forum posts I've seen in the last couple of weeks is, hey, is this crown guy for real? So, <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, um, definitely surprising. I think a lot of people from last year and how horrible that was. I didn't make any mains and I was just struggling with everything, bike and comfort myself and being ready. So definitely cool to come in swinging and do 
what I should be doing all along for sure. Another year of experience and just knowing what to expect this time around? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, but I honestly didn't take a whole lot from last year. It was, it was, other than a lot, I learned a lot of stuff what not to do and, and what not to waste stuff on. So um, to carry into this year and I just, I try to make sure, I mean, I was way more ready this year. There's some awesome off season races and been a lot more comfortable on my bike and confident in my bike and the been putting a lot of work at Club Max and feeling really good. So I knew this year would be good and um, or at least way better than last year. So I'm definitely happy with this for sure. I think they got a preview of it from Geneva. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, the, pre the, the Geneva was, it was cool. That was definitely, did really good there and I was hoping to back it up here because I think a lot of people like, oh, that was, you know, cool, but it's, it's overseas, you know, no really top, top guys there. So it's cool to be able to come into the first round and back it up and show that I'm, I am for real. It wasn't just a joke there, so. All right, Josh, one of the funniest photos I think I've shot in a while was the one of you going through the whoops in the lead, and then, uh-oh, here comes Chase, and you're kind of looking over your shoulder. Yeah, I uh, after the first main, those things were getting so chewed out and uh, still struggled a little bit in the whoops on the 250, just not having the power to get to the next one. So I, my game plan was to jump, and I knew that wasn't the fastest way. So I jumped through and I heard him skimming, so figured it was best that I look over instead of just getting blindsided in the next turn. So. It's, uh, it was fun to run up front, though, for a minute. Um, what's it been like the, the two weeks, so, or I guess a couple weeks so far? Yeah, it's been, it's been good. Like, I, I'm just excited to be here. It's fun to, to be back at the races. The, you know, the adrenaline you get from just being on the gate with everybody is there ain't nothing I can do to, to replicate that. Anything, you know, I do a lot of fun stuff, but this is, uh, this is the best. So it's cool to be back. I mean, as far as results go, I'm... I, you know, I can't say I'm extremely disappointed because it's been a long time, but it's not where I want to be or where I think I can be. So I know the bike's good. I know the, you know, we've been putting in a ton of work at Club MX, and I, I think I can do a lot better than I've done so far. But it's good. It's good that I'm just breaking into it. I'm also at the point where I have so much other stuff going on this year that, uh, you know, that's in the back of my head while I'm racing. It's like the opposite of how it used to be. You know, you go free riding, like, oh, I can't, can't do that because I might get hurt. It's like racing I was like I, I can't do that because I might get hurt for free ride <laughs> it's funny well you're like almost the professional adventurer these days yeah I guess I don't really have a I don't I haven't really came with the title for what I'm doing I just uh I just try to make dirt bikes seem as fun as possible and I think I do a decent job of that well Henry it's been a while since we've seen you on the track and I know you took a crack at it last week but uh you're coming back from an injury uh unfortunately it's been a while I got hurt I broke my shoulder blade and uh last weekend was just kind of a get out and ride kind of kind of day for me um was wasn't expecting nothing I was only on the bike five times um only released to ride for two weeks before and with the weather it was hard to do so just kind of easing my way back into racing here and uh we're we're making good progress this week I, we we made some progress with with the bike and just being comfortable with doing laps and stuff so uh, I think this weekend's gonna be much better all right, Justin's riding's done for press day, but how's the track out there? Yeah, track's cool. Looks like it's going to be a good racetrack. The only thing we didn't get to ride is the whoops, so, um, and it's a short set this weekend. Should be good. Um, they look pretty good built. Um, dirt's a little slippery underneath right now. This track will probably break down a lot. Um, be a good racetrack, though. Um, I was having some fun out there. There's a big wall. I jumped out a few times and just messing around, having fun, playing with the bike a little bit. And, uh, yeah, felt felt pretty good to be out there riding. I like Atlanta. You know, it's a good stadium and, and a good track. Some, you know, Tampa, we saw a short set of whoops, but yeah. man, those things were gnarly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we'll see. That's like everyone's like, oh, a short set of whoops, but you never know how, how they're going to be. The dirt, you know, breaks down, gets slippery, notchy. So you really never know what you're going to get until you get out there and race. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good set. And uh, definitely the goal this weekend, um, get a good start and uh, put myself uh, a little bit more in the front in the beginning of the race so I don't have to, you know, charge so hard through the pack. Yeah, you did a lot of work last week. Last couple of weeks been busy, 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 busy. <laughs> lots of work, lots of fighting through the pack. Great passes, great racing, and it's been been awesome. You know, I can't take anything away from me. I've been riding 100%, riding really hard, but uh, you know, definitely want to get up front. You know, where I where I belong. So um, yeah, definitely some good race in the past few weekends. Friendly chat, take two. Friendly chat, take two. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you did a bunch of work last week coming through the pack. Yeah, yeah, I got horrible starts in the first two mains. I think uh, came from like 20th to 10th in the first one, um, 18th to 9th in the second one, and uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't too fun. So um, yeah, my starts were really off last weekend, and uh, um, 
yeah, I'm, I've been trying to work on them, and they were good before last weekend. So, uh, you know, I think they'll they'll be back. Um, I'm confident in them, and I just got to get better gate pick and practice, and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah, how important is you know getting a good qualifying lap, getting the good gate pick? Yeah, it's definitely important, especially for the triple crowns because you don't get a heat race to uh, to try to better your better your starting position in the main. So um, triple crown is really really crucial. But uh, for for a regular race, um, you definitely want to be up there. But I mean, my my goal is always just to to get a top ten. Top ten qualifying time will get me. Uh, um, you know, either fourth or fifth in the in the um, in the whatever heat race pick, and uh, yeah, it's a good good pick. So um, I always try to shoot for tenth and or tenth or better. And if I'm not there, just uh, you know, work with what I got. And we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when you broke yourself off last year. <laughs> are, are we kind of back to where we wanted to be? Uh, a little bit. I got a little more to work on, but overall, yeah. Um, Riding's good, just uh, got to clean up a few things like the whoops and a uh, few of my corners. So um, I think we are almost there. I'd say about 75% there. Um, and once I clean those uh, those things I need to up, I think we'll be back to where I'm, where I'm uh, up there with the big boys. Riding session's done. What's your favorite part of the track for this weekend? Uh, it's a fun track. You got a uh, nice little sand section, a good set of whoops, um, some good, good rhythm sections, technical. Uh, I think it's going to really get rough uh, tomorrow with with everybody on it. And uh, yeah, I think we got a we got a good racetrack on our hands. It's a little soft, so yeah, I think it's going to be ruddy, rough, and a uh, good racetrack. I like that kind of wall berm before the you got the tunnel jump and then the finish line. But that that uh, berm, man, you can lay it in there. <laughs> oh yeah, you can uh, you can lay it into pretty much all these berms, man. It's uh, that one's a good one, and then you know that. They just get so rutted out here, you can just let go of the clutch and just rail them. <laughs>